Welcome to Health Matters with Dr. Nelson Bulmash as he takes a fresh look at today's most interesting health topics with functional medicine's leading doctors and experts. Learn how to feed your mind, exercise your body, and nurture your spirit in the way nature intended. Catch him live every other Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Over the next hour, we'll introduce you to some fascinating people and engaging discussions that may provide you with answers to assist in revolutionizing your own personal health. And now, here's Dr. Nelson. Hey, everybody. I'm Dr. Nelson Bullmash, the host of Health Matters on the UI Media Network. If you're joining my show for the first time, let me tell you a few things about it. Number one, thank you for joining us. And number two, my show is dedicated to discussing the very, very best in health, inspiration, and spirituality. And today's no exception. We're going to tie all three of those together. I have a very dear friend of mine, and she's dear for a very interesting reason, which I will share to you shortly. But she is on her own a brilliant, brilliant author and doctor and has helped probably tens of thousands of people at this point. Is that, is that safe? Can I say that? Probably, probably. Yeah. <laughs> she is Dr. Ellen Cutler, and she wrote the amazing book, Micro Miracles. So get it? It's a fantastic book. Really, really gives you some novel insight about how to, be, how to regain your health and how to maintain your health. And then another fantastic uh, book that was my starter book with Dr. Ellen Cutler, titled The Food Allergy Cure. And, and may I call you by your first name on this show? Absolutely. Th- yes. Call me of Nelson. I, I, one of the things that <laughs> I've gotten the greatest feedback on is that people love how informal I am. Folks, yeah. my very dear friend and amazing, amazing doctor, Ellen Cutler. Such a pleasure to have you here. May I brag about you for a moment? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I, I, I want all of you to know something. In 1999, I was pushing as hard as I could push the boundaries and the thresholds of living. I was I hadn't been married that long. I uh, gotten divorced and, and remarried and had an, uh, have an amazing wife who gave me uh, two children and then I had a child for my first marriage and it was quite interesting because I was rebuilding my life. I was rebuilding my practice. I'd gotten very distressed going through my divorce and had really pretty much shut my practice down and was starting all over again with little kids on top of which I was finishing a postdoctoral cert- uh, cert- <clears throat> certification, excuse me, called a diplomate, which is a three-year event that uh, takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Uh, I ended up going to um, Las Vegas, where I defended uh, numerous papers, one of which was 60 pages long. I had a four-hour oral exam. I had a four-hour written exam, and I had uh, a laboratory test that I think was two or three hours. So it's it's a big deal. While out there, I got very, very, very ill. I developed, along with my two roommates, a form of colitis, uh, which was later diagnosed as ulcerative colitis. And then I blinked, and I had severe chronic fatigue and, and severe fibromyalgia. And months later, was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And uh, it's interesting because I'm going to say something that uh, hopefully won't shock everybody, but it's good news. The outcome was good. I recently had a scare. I did some markers uh, for my cancer, and they said, you're positive for colon cancer. The good news was I was scoped out, and they found something that they removed, and they say, you should be okay. We're going to keep an eye on this. But they removed it surgically last week. I'm still a little fatigued from it. But the good news is it appears to all be okay, which is very refreshing, Ellen, because you helped take care of me some 15 or 16 years ago when I was at a very low point in my life. And I want to really brag about you because you, you have a very novel way of looking at health and functionality of the body and the spirit. And one of the reasons I brought you on my show today was not only that I'm incredibly grateful that you helped me turn the corner, the truth is that of all the people, Ellen, that were being taken care of when I had cancer back in 1999 and the early 2000s, I am the only remaining person alive. Every other person that I knew of from around the world who had cancer at that time is no longer with us. All of them having passed from their cancers. So you are someone who brought me a clarity and a perspective about healthcare that I never had. 
And I want to share that with the world because I see a lot of people in a state of despair currently. They're wiped out emotionally, mentally, energetically from all things COVID, all things political, all things war. And you have such a vision and a clarity about how to move forward through this. It is an absolute delight to have you on my show. Welcome. Well, um, I'm so glad to be here. And, and as I said before, you studied with me. We That's yes. how we met. And you were just a, a bright, brilliant, heartwarming being that I'll always remember. You know, like teaching to a big, you stood out. Your your brightness and your radiance stood out, and and I think for me, my one of the things that I feel is is who I am as a doctor is I see people as well. Yes. No matter what they come in, if they come in feeling anxious or they come in feeling vertigo, and there's been a, so many different crazy symptoms after the pandemic that people go through, whether it's physical, psychological, emotional, whatever. I see them as well. And I align myself to that. That's where really where I come from. And I is love that, that, because, that we have that, right? Yes. And and one of the things that you impressed upon me was Nelson, you're gonna be fine. I'll never forget that. You kept looking at me over the years and you kept saying, You're gonna be just fine. You're going to be just fine. And we just kept going to the next step and the next step and the next step. And Ellen, I'd love to talk to you about that because that's where you're really novel. There are lots of people out there who do wonderful work. I mean, I don't know how many healthcare practitioners there are probably in the hundreds of thousands, but you're, you're a standout. And I want to talk about what I, I call your three pillars. I think now you're calling it the Ellen Cutler method. Is Am I correct? Right. Wonderful. Exactly. Love that. Yes. Simple to the point and accurate. And, <laughs> it, you know, there were three areas that I, I distinctly remember beyond diet. And we'll, of course, talk about nutrition as, as one of the points that we'll look at during this interview process. But the three things that you really changed with me in, in how to take care of patients is you put a tremendous amount of emphasis on the use of, of enzymes, hence the book Micro Miracles in detoxifying the body, but not just detoxifying it, detoxifying it on many levels. I'd like to engage you in that discussion. Mm -hmm. And uh, then in something called desensitization, which means clearing the sensitivity of something. And I'd love to explore these three topics with you if you're open to that. Yes. Yeah. And I've expanded my work and advanced it quite a bit, even since we've been together, which I can't wait to share with you I, even more. So I can't wait to see it because you were, <laughs> yeah. you were brilliant then. And you found the, the thing that, that was so remarkable about you is you found the needles in the haystack. I remember one day you saying to me something like, Nelson, did you ever have uh, Epstein Barr? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and you said, why do you say it like that? And I said, I had a very, very, very serious case of Epstein-Barr that took me a year to recover when I was 18 years old. And mm -hmm. you said, well, it's running rampant in your system. Mm -hmm. And it was. Right. And I have a feeling it might be a play still because I still, you know, after I had COVID five times, several right. months apart, right. uh, patients would accidentally bring it in. They didn't know they had it. And uh, I'd be off to the races again on my back, so to speak. Like, okay, which which Netflix series am I going to watch for this eight days or so, or 10 days, you know, before I can okay. legally be permitted to go back and work. So let's start out with the desensitization sure. process, because that's so fascinating to me. Tell us what that is and why it's so important. Well, you know, I, just give you a little bit of my background. I'm a chiropractor and I also got my medical degree too. I was always looking, I was looking for answers, you know, right, unfortunately right. I had to find them for myself. And I was always frustrated with the fact that people, you give them an adjustment, they'd leave, they felt good, but they come back with the same symptoms or they need it again. Why didn't it stay? It would drive me crazy. And I, Nelson, probably like you, is totally dedicated to serving people. This is right. my life's work. Same. And anybody who knows me, I don't really do my, I really work all the time because I love, I love these people. I want them to be well, you know? Yes. And so I realized there's got to be something more that I could look into that can help people. It's not just, I look, I love chiropractic and I think it's incredible. And sometimes it's the right thing, but there's gotta be other things. 
So enzymes, digestion, which we'll talk about. But what I found is people react or are sensitive to all kinds of different things. And it's not so much allergies, it's broader than that. You can be reactive to your environment. You can be reactive to a food, sensitive to the food. Right. You can be reactive to a person or a trauma in your life. Let's say you were diagnosed with cancer and you weren't, you didn't have it, but you know what? That could still be in your mind and you still react to it. I explored every level, took seminars, learned about reactivities. And it's almost like a Buddhist understanding is it's all this ego, all this self, right. all these reactivities right. that aren't, that make us sick, that cause us to be fatigued, that cause the headaches, that cause the joint pain, that cause the irritability, that why you can't deal with your husband or wife or work or et cetera. So I looked into it in, in a very, very, I mean, I, I, this is what I did. And I became, and then I looked at ways to actually, how do you find out about these sensitivities? And one of the ways is muscle testing, which we learned in chiropractic school, kinesiology. Right. That's a great way, which I teach to my patients and friends or whatever, how to muscle test themselves. Well, you know, I think I may be sensitive to egg white. Well, pick up the egg white and test yourself, and right. you probably see. I mean, it really works. It absolutely you know, does. Once you learn, it does work. And so I looked even further into computerized programming and, and technology and found an incredible tool that, because you can only remember certain things, I needed some programs. So I created the Ellen Cutler Method program now that if you saw it, Nelson, you wouldn't believe it. I can't I wait. mean, it's a library. I even have a whole library on anti-aging. Wow. That I work with people. I've helped people who have memory problems, dementia, situations turn around, sleep issues, fibromyalgia. I have libraries of reactivities that can be related to these particular problems. And I test each person to see what they are reactive to. Mm. And what's, what also is different about what I do is that it's tailored to the person. Right. So you come in, Nelson, I test you for an hour. I'll find probably three pages of things. Mm -hmm. And you'll say, how did you know that? This is what people go through. Oh my God. Yeah. I found Epstein bar or I found strep, but I had that like years ago. You know what? On an energetic level, you're still reacting to it. Absolutely. Ellen, and it's causing me. symptoms. I am so sorry. We've got to take our first commercial break here. here we'll right be right here. back. Okay. Uh, hey everybody. Dr. Nelson Bullmesh here. My guest is Dr. Ellen Cutler. And we're talking about some amazing breakthroughs that Dr. Cutler, who's here's the, here's the interesting struggle. She's been practicing as long as she is old. I, I haven't figured that one out yet. Maybe she, maybe we can before the end of the show. Nonetheless, she's amazing. And she's going to share with you some extraordinary ways, methods, and means that she helped people like me overcome diseases like cancer, autoimmunity, chronic fatigue, and fibromyalgia. We'll be right back. Safety Air Purification Systems an air purifier with robust technologies that can filter, sterilize, and re-energize large quantities of air at a whisper quiet volume. It features a proprietary HEPA RX and pre-filter that act as a capturing layer going for big particles and ultra-fine particles. Its next layer is an activated carbon filter that absorbs and captures volatile organic compounds and noxious odors. From viruses to bacteria, its kill chamber packs a three-punch layer to destroy over 99% of anything that remains in the air. And while most air purifiers stop at the capture or kill stage, Safety Air Purifier takes it one step further, re-energizing clean, pure, sterilized air by creating negative ions within the revitalizing chamber. The Safety Air Purifier also monitors air quality in real time, utilizing smart sensor technology that helps you breathe better air, increase productivity, and improve morale. But don't just take our word for it. Ask the thousands of workplaces we've helped. Fortune 500 companies, dental offices, senior facilities, K-12 schools and universities, and professional sports teams. 
The Safety Air Purifier's robust technology combined to protect you against indoor air pollutants and viruses to make the most powerful yet quietest air purifier. Safety Air Purification. Thank you, folks, for joining us. My guest today is Dr. Ellen Cutler. She is the author of the excellent book, Micro Miracles and the Food Allergy Cure. Ellen, what's your third book again? I have it as an e-book. Oh, Clearing the Way to Health and Wellness. Thank and that's you. the e-book that you can get free if you subscribe to my newsletter. Oh, fantastic. I'm reading that now. I'm halfway done with it. It's fantastic. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, so. good. Good. So, Ellen, I, I apologize. Every 15 minutes, we have to cut out for a commercial break. My, yeah. my apologize. I apologize for not letting you know that. Go right ahead. So, you were telling me we were talking about desensitization. Yeah. So, and so again, what what sets what I do apart is it's individual. So, let's say you come in with fibromyalgia because that's a big. A lot of people have fibromyalgia. Right. And someone else comes in. You can have different factors and different reactivities, different deficiencies that causes your symptoms as opposed to the others. That's what I love about this ECM work. Right. And that's why I want to start teaching. And that's why I'm looking forward to announcing that today. So then once you figure out all the different, I call them reactivities or sensitivities, then I have a very unique way of desensitizing, utilizes meridians, acupressure, mm-hmm. chiropractic, and now I even use crystals. Oh, got it, got it. <laughs> now, you know, blah, that people wear the crystals and they, and they do the actual clearing, I call mm-hmm. it clearing at home, that clears those sensitivities. And once, you know what though is amazing, Nelson? It's no. incredible. Sometimes somebody will sit here and just telling them, telling them like the information what is going on? They're better. You're right. Yes. Yes. You, you know, you, made you such realize a for me. I mean, you kept just saying nothing. Information. You'll be fine. Yeah. 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 Just knowing mm-hmm. that maybe Epstein Barr is a situation, or just knowing that you're sensitive to mold and, and where the mold is and where it's coming from, right. just that knowledge really reduces the sensitivity, reduces that reactivity, and they feel better. Some people, it's I call it the information clearing, and it works. I love it's that. It's incredible. Yes. Yes. It, yeah, it, it made, works. It made a profound difference for me. Uh, another person that does this is is uh, a gentleman who was out in California, now is in Nashville, and Peter Goldman, and he's got a remarkable gift like you, and he says, you're going to be fine. You're going to get better. And he does it with such conviction now, I'm, and I'm not underscoring that he, that the words are alone are doing it. He's an extremely, like you, effective chiropractor. He does brilliant, brilliant work. Uh, but it always amazes me when someone like Peter, someone like you says, you're going to be fine. You just said it with yeah. such conviction that like, oh, okay, I, I, apparently I'm going to be fine. <laughs> and I yeah. was. And here I am, yeah. 16, 17 I years remember, later. I remember that. I remember it. Even what I found on you so well, isn't that crazy? Yes, <laughs> I still yes. remember, you know. I, I get it though, Ellen, because there are people that walk up to me and say, you know, you saved me when I broke my back or, you know, when I, when I had that severe sh- uh, sh- uh, shoulder injury, Nelson, or my knee injury. And I, it'll, their file will come back to me and I'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you tore your, you know, right cru- your anterior, cr- um, your medium meniscus and your anterior cruciate. How do you remember that? It was like 12 years ago. Like, I, I got a file and I remember it. So you yeah. do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what also is is different about what I do? It's not, the instrument I use is not diagnostic. It's not like a laboratory test. Right, right. Which I think falls short because it's an energetic system because you could be reacting to Epstein-Barr or you could be reacting to the trauma when you were a a kid. Right. And that's not going to show up in a laboratory test. So they'll say, no, you don't have Epstein-Barr, you don't have... But I find it, and I see the symptoms that it's yes. causing, yeah. and then I can clear it, and you will be, and and you feel better, and sometimes people feel better immediately, and can permanently feel better. Too. I I was one of those people. I'll yes. never forget. I went out to see you. Uh, I want to share an interesting story with you, Ellen. Yeah. So the yes. last time I went out to see you, I remember coming back thinking, I feel amazing. I remember that. Yeah. I remember you telling me. And and then I'm going to I'm going to tell you something a little sad here. I I was pulling with my son into the Whole Foods parking lot. 
And this mm-hmm. gentleman had a baby in a pack he was wearing on his chest, and he had two little boys in tow. And he stormed out like he was very angry at something. I'll never forget this, Ellen. I think about you all the time because of this. He stormed out, and I almost ran him over in front of Whole Foods because I wasn't anticipating. I wasn't going quickly, thank God. I stopped. But I'll never forget this. You know, he ended up touching my truck, and I said, sir, are you okay? And he, and he tried to get me to get out of his truck and, and, and beat me up, if you will. And I said, sir, you, you have two little kids in tow, and you're wearing one. You, you, you want to fight me? I said, I, please, I'm, I'm not interested in this. Ha- have a wonderful day. I, I, I'm sorry that I, I almost hit you. And, of course, there wasn't really anything I could do about it because he ran out. These poor kids were almost being dragged right in the air. And here's what I want you to know. This is so strange. I remember you told me that if you had some kind of severe illness, if you had some severe trauma, that it could undo the clearing. And, Ellen, I always wanted to share this with you. I had days before, that weekend before, I'd come back from seeing you, and I felt in a moment all of the symptoms get re-triggered again. And I, all these years, I wanted you to know that. And I'll never forget that I went, oh, my God, I spent all of that valuable time with my brilliant friend. She cleared me. And then as soon as I had that intense trauma, mm-hmm. I felt right. everything come back, and all of a sudden, I was highly allergic to mold again. So I speak to that a minute. because what, Yeah, what you yeah it's is, interesting. Yeah. I have found that like a bad flu or even COVID. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why people, I don't know about you, but I know people have come in and said, you know what? Even my husband, he said, you know, I was fine with mosquito bites when I was a kid. I had bad reactions Mm -hmm. ever since COVID. These mosquito bites, my histamine level is higher. higher. And I have seen this, you know, so a bad flu, emotional trauma could cause some of the sensitivities that I Mm -hmm. cleared successfully come back, but usually it's not as bad and it's easier to clear again, Right. but it's something I will look for. That's why people are noticing so many other symptoms post COVID. So I am writing, rewriting micro miracles and updating it. And one of the chapters is going to be post pandemic enzymes mm. and clearings and what I've seen. Cause I can, like some, one of my patients today said, Dr. Ellen, you could write a whole new book just on me. Yeah. I've had COVID <laughs> twice. Yeah. I've had COVID twice. And if it wasn't for these clearings and his other, you know, what's great, Nelson, his other doctors say, I just ask, ask Dr. Ellen what she thinks, have her tell me to print out so I can, they're so grateful right. to have, because what I find they can't come up with. Yeah, no, I get know? it. I get it. I, I remember, yeah. I, re- I remember my three pages of, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That too. Yeah. But what was, here's what was amazing. I didn't have to have each item on three pages. Right. Cleared separately. You cleared a myriad yeah. of things, yeah. and right. and I, I I can't suggest that everybody will feel like I did, but Ellen, I remember feeling fantastic. And by the way, I'm not being paid to say this. <laughs> there <are people laughs> I was just going to say, yeah, I, I didn't swear. say anything. Yes, yeah, I swear, he's he's getting paid here. No, full disclosure, <laughs> I am not getting paid. Ellen is not being charged anything. She is a dear friend of mine. She's on my show. I have sponsors. It's all taken care of. But I, but I literally, like one of the things, uh, the, the second time I had COVID, it attacked my memory. And it was mm-hmm. so strange because I had friends stand in front of me. And for the life of me, I couldn't remember their names. It yeah. also altered my vision. My mm-hmm. vision has never been the same. So I can't wait to, at some point in the future. I'm going to come out to see you. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I yeah. know that you're going to do what you do. And once again, uh, you know, you can clear so much at one time. So, Nelson, one of the things that I have found just talking about COVID is dead fragments of COVID oh. that come up that people react to and can almost be the same symptoms as having COVID. Yes. Yeah. And some people, when I test them still test positive for COVID energetically. Mm-hmm. And then what I do is I look and see which organ, which part of the anatomy is being affected and what else in combination with that. So when I do the clearing, I'm clearing the whole aspect of it. So they immediately have 
they're, they feel better. Yeah, immediately. And, and, immediately. It, and it gets better and better. But but this is what I have seen, dead fragments. And, and it's even talked about in, in some studies that have been done because mm. it's still reacting, you know, especially people have taken things to kill it. Also, there's that dead fragments, and that can affect cause brain fog and cause still fatigue. Yes. Some people still have fatigue a year later. Yes. That, I think part of it is that. And, and then the other things that come up, with it that, you know, viruses and maybe foods, et cetera, too, related to it. I wanted to, there's so many things I wanted to share with you, because like I said, you're that friend of mine that I don't talk to often, but yeah. I think about you often because you had such a profound impact on my life. And one of the things, Ellen, you're the, I think of you as like the, the enzyme queen, right? That's your, you're to me, you're the enzyme queen. I had tremendous success coupling two particular enzymes to help people with COVID. I had yeah. serapeptidase and natokinase. I don't know if you've used I those. You knew, oh, you know, yeah, absolutely. You? I, I had absolutely. such profound... I had people that couldn't talk. They had to text me. They could no longer put words together in, in terms of speech. They could text mm-hmm. me with, with sort of a very rudimentary ability to communicate. I'll never forget this. I had a friend out in California, and she said, I'm terrified I'm going to die. I, I, I can't speak anymore. Mm. And she had a lot of trouble texting. I had to sort of figure out her hieroglyphics. Couldn't spell right anymore and such. And I said, do you have any enzymes? She said, no, I'll get some. What do you want me to get? And I said, get serapeptidase. And now, of course, you can get them as one, but I, one product, one supplement. But I had her get serapeptidase natokinase. I will never forget this. I said, you, get, you contact me an hour after you take them. Take them on an empty stomach. Take six of these, six of these. She called me in an hour. She could speak. It wasn't perfect. I said, call me in four hours. Four hours, she could speak, had some inability to say certain words that were, you know, longer in length and such. I said, you're going to call me tomorrow morning. She could speak normally. I, I suspect, Ellen, what had happened in her case, which she had so much microclotting in her brain. That exactly. She, yeah, that right, she could right. no longer effectively think. And her ability, apparently, to speak had been profoundly impacted by COVID. And it was the most I, amazing so funny. thing. The patient I just saw before this. That's yes. what I recommended to him. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's, I can't believe you just said that. It's yeah, it's well, very it, it's very true. I, I'm so yes. happy that, that you, you found that as well because I, I spoke to doctor after doctor and they said, Where why would you choose these two? I said, Well, they're both very effective in cleaning the blood. And one is also considered a mild blood thinner, so you're gonna improve circulation, but they're highly effective in, in breaking down debris that is in the blood that could be altering oxygen delivery, general circulation, nutrient delivery, lymphatic flow, et cetera, et cetera. And these two in combination, Ellen, have been brilliant for me. Ellen, right. I hate to say it. We've got to take another commercial break. I'm having so much fun. I don't want anybody to interrupt me. <laughs> but my engineer and producer are saying, you got to take a break, Nelson. <laughs> Folks, I'm with my dear friend, Dr. Ellen Cutler. We're going to be right back. We've got more pearls to come. Stay tuned. If this content resonates with you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel at uimedianetwork.org to stay updated with our uncensored shows. Also, like and follow us at UI Media Network on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and almost all your favorite podcasting platforms. Most importantly, if you're being censored on social media, write to us at contact at uimedianetwork.org to get your message out. And remember, keep raising that frequency. All right, folks, I hope you're picking up some things that can change not only your life, but perhaps the life of someone you know and love who is struggling. Ellen, I I want you to know, by the way, I was a good student. I use lots and lots of enzyme combinations to this very, very day. And I I have to pick your mind, your, your big brain on this. Is there a particular company that you really love for your, the, the majority of your enzymes? Well, yes. And, and uh, you know, I, just to preface that, I, enzymes saved my life. And in every book I write about it. And I was also diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, if you don't remember. I remember. I do. Yeah. And, and the, the situation was later on, You'll, you're going to either need to be on steroids or you're going to have part of your colon removed at some point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If, if you don't, you know, this is, this is your future. And I went, 
no way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm a natural doctor. There's no way, right, you know. Right. And so I did a diplomate course like you in and uh, one of the doctors there uh, said, knew I was struggling and said, Ellen, did you ever try an enzyme? And at that time we're talking, I think I've been on enzymes more than anyone on earth. This was like many years. I don't even want to say how many years. You, you were probably Edward but, Howell's number one student. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I, and I started a, a full spectrum sugar starch digestive enzymes, which I use to this day. After two weeks, Nelson, after two weeks of taking that enzyme, I never had problems again. Yeah, I get it. I mean, that's pretty. And and it not only helped, it helped with fatigue, it helped with hair, it helped with uh, overall energy and stamina right. and vitality. It was, it was amazing. And then I decided to give every patient of mine, I don't care what they came in with, I gave them a digestive enzyme. So, yes, I use um, a proenzyme. Enzyme Zinc is the enzymes I've used forever. That's been my enzymes. Say, and the, say read, the name again, Ellen. The, I'm so sorry. The name is, the name is proenzyme. Proenzyme. And it's pro-enzole. Enzymes Inc. But in about two weeks, I have my own private label called Dr. Ellen's Way that's coming out. Fantastic. With Yeah, with two enzymes. Some of my favorite two enzymes. One of them is a full-spectrum sugar starch digestive enzyme, which digests everything. And uh, one called Gastro uh, GI Calm, which is great for people who have gastritis, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hiatal hernia, GERD, yeah, yeah, which, yeah. as you know, is huge. huge. And this enzyme is a miracle. You can't leave home without it, honestly. Going on vacation, eating all kinds of different food or whatever, you need your this GI calm. So, there, so I'm excited about that. And it's all on my new website, drellencutler.com. Fantastic. You can even purchase it on there. Love it. So so I'm, I'm kind of, like, strict in what I put in my body. So I, mm-hmm, you know... Mm-hmm. <laughs> There are other great enzymes out there too, but this is the one I've used forever. And and this is the one I give to all my patients, of course. I love it. I love it. I know that they are profound. Tell us a little bit about what they do because it's, it's miraculous. I love your title. It's miracle. Yeah. Micro miracles because yeah. when you, when you have the right enzyme complex, your life can change in as little as days. Yeah, you know, it's so interesting because my book has been translated into Chinese. It's in China. Wow. And it just came out in Vietnam. And they now he just told me, he said, the people in Vietnam are going crazy over this book because they love the whole concept of enzymes. Mm. They really get it. And the, the the amazing miracles they have with enzymes, it's great. And they don't even have what we are have right. available here. It's right. incredible. But, you know, the most important thing, I talk about this all the time is, you know, the most profound thing we do every day is what we put in our mouth. Yes. So it's if you eat good food, but if you don't digest your food, it's not worth anything, Mm -hmm. right? So in order to digest your food optimally, you need to chew your food well, eat a lot of good plant food, of course, Mm -hmm. and take a good digestive enzyme and I recommend everyone take it because it optimizes your nutrition. You get what you can from the food. Rather than taking so many different supplements, eat a good food and digest your food. So digestive enzyme is the most important, really, I think, for everyone. You know, I, I appreciate that so much because your point is so well taken, Ellen. If, if you're, even if you're eating really good food, my digestion was so bad. I suspect yours was initially, too. Oh yes. I my, my my digestive system was so bad shortly after I got ill, I would launch up everything, if you will. I forgive the description. Um I I just couldn't I, I couldn't hold anything down. Once I started doing digestive aids, suddenly not only did I stop throwing up, but I actually digested and assimilated and then in a pretty short order, Ellen, I was much, much better. I started to have energy again. I started right. to have less pain. My brain actually right. started to work. And right. so I, lo- I love that. And I want to thank you for your contribution to me and the world with that, because it's really a profound step in, in favorably altering your life for the rest of your life to use enzymes. Yeah. And, you know, people do so much on themselves, anti-aging, all kinds of, there's everything mm-hmm. available you can to look younger. But you know what? Even dermatologists say, 
the skin, you got to, it, it's the inside that has to be no healthier. Question. And getting to the microbiome, you know, we've been talking about the microbiome for 50 years. years. <laughs> I know. For 50 years. Now it's and just it's new like, hip type. I, I know. It's, oh, you know, look, if, if, if you go into work and your gut doesn't feel well, you can't really function that no, well. No, you right? can't. Right? No. So digesting your food, clearing the food sensitivities is a big mm-hmm. thing. I mean, even if I, if, if I just taught people just at home, take a digestive enzyme, clear the foods they're reacting to, they probably feel 50% better than they're feeling. Easily. Easily. Right? Yes, easily. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, you know, forgive me, Ellen. One of the supplements that I yeah. rarely ever have to remind people to get is a digestive aid. Right. It's, yeah. it's like, yeah, could you, could you feel it? Because you know it works. That's the one thing I always say. It's the one supplement you take, you, you can feel it working. Well, not only that, <laughs> right. I've had many men and women pull me aside and say, Dr. Blumash, do you have, um, <laughs> do, do, do you have that digestive aid? Why are you whispering? <laughs> um, well, because. If I don't get it, I'm going to get lots of gas, and you don't want to be around me when I get lots of gas. No right, need exactly. to whisper. I got it. I'll have it to you in a moment. Yes. Yeah, I get it. Well, let's go into, you have a fascinating way. When we talk about detox, everybody talks about mm-hmm. detox. Your way to me is very, very interesting. Let's talk about that. What's unique about your way of detoxifying people? So what is unique is that, I, you know, people like, well, I'm going to go do a detox, and they grab something and take it, and they right. feel... Horrible. Horrible. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, and that's, that's an understatement of how they feel. So what I do, again, with my ECM work is I can figure out what needs to be detoxified. Mm-hmm. Is it the colon? Is it the liver? Is it your skin? Is it the lungs? Is it your lymph? And find the best detox remedy or remedies that work. And it's really important. You know, one thing I have learned, and maybe you'll say, well, I knew that, but I have learned this, that if a person needs to lose weight and they have tried, they say, look, you know, Nelson, Dr. Ellen, I've tried everything. Nothing works for me. I can't lose any weight. I exercise like crazy. I, I, I do intermittent fasting. And how come I'm still can't lose it? You know what it is? Toxins live in the fat. I have seen, and, and it's like, and I knew this, and but I'm seeing it more and more. You got to detoxify first. Yeah, I'm so and then and, is it, and it really makes a difference. And I think, and we live in a toxic world. We don't even know what we're body. One thing I do is I can find exactly what yes. <laughs> what's that toxicity, you know? Right. And so, so it's almost like there are so many good detox. I use certain homeopathics and herbal remedies that I have liked over the years. And I like gentle detox. I don't like to put people through, you know, yes, where you they do. can't get out of bed for a yes. week. <laughs> I, I still use well, ultra anti-tox. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Ellen, That's I, right. That's what I do. I, do. I, I have to share. <laughs> I love I love talking to you. It's, it's great. It's uh, thank great. you. Thank you so much, Ellen. I have to share a quick, funny story with you. Yes. And, yes. and I apologize. I don't remember the doctor's name, but here's how the story goes. I, I was, before COVID, I was about 274. So I lost 50 pounds when I had COVID the first time. I just couldn't get my digestive system to work. I know. Wow. Oh, God. So I'm, wow. I, I'm a, a very <clears throat> svelte, two, uh, 45, 250 right now. So bear with me. But so this this crazy story. So this man, uh, you know, here I am. I've got 21 inch arms of 53, 54 inch chest and 33 inch quads. And this man has his plate in his hand and he's sheepishly looking at me. And I'm, I'm just waiting for him to say, sir, may I sit next to you? And I finally look at him. I said, sir, are you are you looking for a, a place to sit down and eat your lunch? And he says, I, 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 I am. Um. I'm sorry, sir. Is, is it, would, it, would it be okay? I said, you, you, don't, you don't have to stutter. I said, I'm, not a, I'm not a mean guy. Would you like to join me for lunch? I said, I'd really appreciate it, sir. My name is Dr. So-and-so. I said, I'm, I'm Nelson. Please sit down. He said, thank you so much. This is the last seat in this whole place. And there were hundreds of people here. And I thought, you know, people make up that you're a big guy, that you got to be a scary guy or you're a mean guy, whatever they make up, right? So I had to say, sit down, please. And he starts talking to me, gets very comfortable with me. And he said, so what do you do? So I go in and start telling him. And he said, do you have any theories about fat loss and why it can be so difficult with people? I said, yes, I do. He said, would you mind sharing it with me? 
I said, I don't mind a bit. I said, I think one of the biggest problems to losing or burning fat is that we are so toxic that the safest place in the world we can store toxins is in our fat. And he said, you believe that? I said, yes, do you have a problem with that? He said, yes. I said, what's your problem? He said, damn it, I paid for all your research. I said, I'm sorry, what research? What are you talking about? He said, I'm the next, I'm the next guest speaker. I said, okay. Do you specialize in this area? He said, yes, I do. And I, you owe me money. And I said, he started to laugh. He said, That's a great I'm, story. I'm kidding, but I'm not actually. I mean, I'm kidding about you owing me money. But he said, I started really getting perplexed. I had people that no matter what I did, I, they couldn't lose weight. And I said, so what did you do? Listen to this, Ellen. This is so fascinating. He said, I researched all over the world to find a laboratory that analyzed fat plug biopsies. I said, really? So you extract fat and then you send it to this lab. He said, London, England, only place in the world currently that does this. I said, fascinating. And what did they find? Here's what they found, Nelson. They called me and they said, where in the world are you getting these people from? I said, I don't understand your question. What does that mean? They said the toxins in the fat plug biopsies that you sent to us were so incredibly poisonous that if it were liberated all at one time, it would kill a person. He said, you, you got to be kidding me. He said, no. He said, immediately, immediately I got the idea. Of course they can't burn fat. They're so unhealthy that if they burn the constituents of these fat plug biopsies, it would kill them. Yeah. Because so many of these people Alan, don't have livers or kidneys that work effectively. Exactly. And he said, so when I started doing things to allow for gentle drainage and gentle detoxification by supporting improved liver and kidney function, he said, suddenly these people began to learn how to lose weight exactly. gently, successfully, and very effectively. That's yeah. a true story. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Alan, we got two minutes before our last break. You, you have a comment you want to make? Well, I, this is just what I've seen, you know, and looking and what I do is I look and see exactly which area of the body needs that detoxification so I can help them mm -hmm. find the best way to detoxify where it's not where they're so sick, but yeah. it's gentle. So I'm totally with you on that level. Well, for and, sure. I, and I love this because I remember I never got sick when you detoxified mm -hmm. me. Yeah, You're the yeah. only person. I never had a Herxheimer reaction. I never got yeah. sick. And I love that. So you prioritized, and we'll, we'll, in a moment, we'll, we'll come back after the break, and we'll talk about that. You had a way of prioritizing which body parts should be detoxified. Let's take okay. a quick break, Ellen. We'll re return, and we'll okay. talk about that when we get back. Okay? okay? Thank you. Sure. We'll be right back, folks. Dr. Nelson Bullmash here with Dr. Ellen Cutler, and we're talking about the tremendously effective, amazing magical and mystical way that Dr. Ellen Cutler works to change the lives of tens of thousands of people over the last, we'll say many years. <laughs> Safety air purification systems. An air purifier with robust technologies that can filter, sterilize, and re-energize large quantities of air at a whisper quiet volume. It features a proprietary HEPA RX and pre-filter that act as a capturing layer going for big particles and ultra-fine particles. Its next layer is an activated carbon filter that absorbs and captures volatile organic compounds and noxious odors. From viruses to bacteria, its kill chamber packs a three-punch layer to destroy over 99% of anything that remains in the air. And while most air purifiers stop at the capture or kill stage, Safety Air Purifier takes it one step further, re-energizing clean, pure, sterilized air by creating negative ions within the revitalizing chamber. The Safety Air Purifier also monitors air quality in real time, utilizing smart sensor technology that helps you breathe better air, increase productivity, and improve morale. But don't just take our word for it. Ask the thousands of workplaces we've helped. Fortune 500 companies, dental offices, senior facilities, K-12 schools and universities, and professional sports teams. The Safety Air Purifier's robust technology combined to protect you against indoor air pollutants and viruses to make the most powerful yet quietest air purifier. Safety Air Purification.
Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson Blomesh here. I want to thank my sponsors over at Safety Air Purification. I think they have the finest portable air purification systems in the world. And when I smartened up and I got an incredible air filtration system that really, really, really worked, I no longer got COVID until I went to a party over the over the winter holidays. And then January 1st, I spent celebrating on my back with my fifth round of COVID. Oh my goodness. I, I, I was shocked. And it's interesting how it all, all, they always changed a little. For example, the last one I had on January 1st, I had the most extraordinary aches and pains imaginable. I felt like I was crippled. I could barely walk. All of my old injuries, like my low back where I fractured my spine in four to six places, I, it was so painful I could barely walk. I'll, I'll never forget that. So they were all a little different. But folks, don't forget. This air filtration system, one of the things that I really love about it is it is so much more advanced than anything out there. For example, it is 52 to 54 feet of, of uh, HEPA filter, and it has a way of sucking pathogens out of the air and killing them with powerful UVC light and hydroxy radicals in all the pathogen studies. Now, we haven't studied COVID-19 specifically yet, but in every other case, every other pathogen we checked, it killed everything. It produces surgically pure air. Lastly, I want to thank my friend and colleague, Dr. Ken Kasky, who has an amazing center where he does hyperbaric laser, far infrared treatment, or cornea laser treatment, and he has changed my life. He started me on hyperbaric oxygen treatments after I had COVID and was really struggling to, to breathe. I was walking around Ellen with an oxygen saturation of 82 to 84, 86 on a good day, and, and people wanting me to wear a mask. Do you want to... You, See how hard it is to breathe when your breathe oxygen saturation <laughs> is 82% and people want you to wear not one, but two masks. I finally got to the point where I said, folks, sorry, no can do. But what really helped me is that Dr. Ken Kasky over at Advanced Recovery Therapy Center said, Nelson, love your show. Get over here. Start doing hyperbaric wow. oxygen work. Now, these are no joke. These are not the little zip up, like, let me crawl in and zip it up. These are the real chambers where they lock you in and you stay for 90 minutes at uh, 15 to 20 atmospheres, changed my life, Ellen. I blinked, and in a matter of weeks, I was at 97, 98%. Wow. Huge fan. Get a hold of those folks, Dr. Ken Kasky, at Advanced Recovery Therapy. They are amazing. That's great. Yeah, they're right here in East Cobb, Georgia, not but 15, 20 minutes from me. Ellen, I want to turn this over to you a little bit. I want to give you the freedom to... Talk about anything that, any insights, it could be about anything, the pandemic, uh, it could be just the the evolution of your own work. Is there anything particular you'd like to talk about? Well, I mean, I literally, if, if doctors would sit here and let me work on them and see what the Ellen Cutler method is about, they would be blown away and they would want to learn it as well as utilize it in, in their office, mm -hmm. either wholly, completely, or just as adjunct. Yeah. So I, I'm getting up there and I have a, a practice that's been closed for years. Cause I can't really see, cause the people I do now, I'm able to work on people indirectly, even through zoom, which is wait till you see that. Oh, You'll, it's amazing. I yeah. can't wait. Yeah, I know. It's incredible. So you don't even have to fly out here. I can Love work it. on you. Love it. And I probably could be the last chance for me to really spend time and teach practitioners to do this. And hopefully they'll become trained and train others. I want to get my ECM clinics all over the world mm. so people can have this work available because I see miracles yeah. and I can't just sit here. And if something happens to me, then it dies. And that's why I want to share and even do a layperson's ECM and teach. So I really want to start teaching. It took me years, another 10 years before I, the last time I taught, I just needed more time to advance. Mm -hmm. I, I, it, because it's developed to, it, it's, it's easier to learn. It's, it's more, 
available and it it works so quickly. And so that's my goal is to teach and maybe even pair up with you and teach with you, would which I would love, love to do. I would love, See, that. love to do that because your energy and what you do. And I remember how effective you were yeah. to really bring this because it will, it because it aligns with all kinds of other healthcare, whether you're a naturopath, a chiropractor, right. acupuncturist. Right. It works. It it uh, and if you see my libraries, it, you'll you wouldn't believe it. You know, on on all levels, I've even had incredible results with people with macular degeneration. Believe it or not, and they wow. go back to their ophthalmologist and they say, and the ophthalmologist said, "What have you been doing? You're yeah, better." That's incredible. I mean, and uh, yes, and and you know, all the chronic stuff and some things that you would never think, you know, psoriasis mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or, and migraine headaches, which are easy to deal with right. as well as inflammatory autoimmune. So that's my goal is really, as you can see, my passion, teach people about this work and, and get trained and have people who really devote themselves and then go and train all over the world. So that's really what I want to do. And I'm hoping that you know, pairing up with you or being on the show will yes. bring the word out. Well, you know? it's it's so interesting because I want my legacy other than, you know, my family, my kids are, are I, they became a force of nature beyond anything I could have ever hoped for. Me too. Yeah, I know. I, know you have amazing <laughs> I think kids we too. had something to do with it. I, I think we did too. <laughs> Uh, you know, my, my son is just got a, a, over 97% on his last board. And he's so humble. I said to him, son, w- would you let me know how your, your board exams go? And he said, okay. I said, please, I'm your dad. Come on. Throw me a bone here. <laughs> he's, so he calls me one day and he said, dad, I, I just wanted you to know that I passed my test. I said, son, that's great. Did, did, did it go okay for you? He said, yeah, I, it went okay. I said, stop <laughs> it, son. I'm your dad. Come on. You got you to be able to like, you got to give me a little bit more information here. I'm your father. He said, dad, I scored... Uh, in the top 97, like 0.5%. I said, are you serious? He said, well, yes, I wouldn't lie about that. He said, dad, I love you. I got to go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> like I was speechless. Top 97.5% of this board. He's, he's the senior resident in, in his second year of residency at, a, at an amazing hospital. And my daughter, as you know, is finishing her PhD. And as the people who saw her last defense said, you're going to change the face of medicine. You're, you're a true outlier. You're playing this game at a whole different level. And my younger daughter is so brilliant. She was awarded student of the year at the business school at Georgia state. And I'm just so proud of all of them. And more than anything, Ellen, like yours, you have a son and a daughter, right? I have a son. They're both successful, brilliant, beautiful. And I love them dearly. And I have grandchildren. I have three grandchildren. (laughs) You're ahead of me. I have no grandchildren, but, uh, but, uh, (laughs) Beyond that, I want my legacy beyond, you know, beyond family to be the work yeah. that I do. Because I yeah, absolutely believe that you, me, and others like us, I believe, I say this humbly, that we were brought here to share God's expression through us as us and to share our unique skills and gifts with the world so we could humbly change the world, however it is that we see fit through the work that we do. So I would love to team up with you. And by the oh, way, that'd be great. We've, we've got to travel to really cool places. <laughs> yes, definitely. Like, I, well, you know where, where I am is pretty cool. I love where you're at. Yeah, I'm in Northern California, Mill Valley. Mill I mean, Valley, it's, yes. you know, it's not, it, You can go all over the world, but you can come here, and people come here and they go, this is pretty beautiful. <laughs> it, it's really beautiful. Really, really. I, I would go there anytime. But I want to travel. I want to go to Costa Rica. I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's like, set let's, it up. Let's set it up and let's play large, help lots of people, teach lots of people. And Definitely. have our legacy be, you know, the, the incredible work and the tens of thousands or more people. Because here's what's really rich about this. You start teaching people like you had an influence on me. I've helped yes. thousands and thousands of people. You've helped thousands. Every time we teach someone, they help whatever number they reach out to. I, and next time, next time I'm on your show, I have a whole other thing I do. I create these crystals for people to manifest what they want. 
It's all energy. In life. Yes. Uh, a transformation affirmation crystals. You'll love it. I'd love to talk about that. Too. Tell us a little bit about it. I, I, yeah. know, I know that crystals are very, a lot of people poo-poo it, a lot of people laugh, but but crystals are, have an energetic matrix through their structuring yeah. that is, yeah. is very, very powerful. I mean, I've had people, they tell me what they want to manifest, like a good job or a relationship or even some health. Right. And I cre- I have a way of figuring out what is blocking it. And they don't even know. And they wear this crystal and then they find these relationships, they get a job, they get money. I mean, it's, it's incredible how it works. So I, I love doing it. Yeah. Yes. Ellen, it, yeah. you know, when you really get down to brass tacks, you got consciousness, energy, right. and matter. And right. matter can be altered through consciousness and energy. Mm-hmm. And so I, I don't have any trouble at all believing this. I, yeah. Have you have you ever picked up a crystal and went, whoa, wow, what is in that? Yeah. That is powerful. You know, maybe your hand vibrates or you just pick I up. I have a huge crystal over there that one of my patients, yes. I don't know if you get to, she gave me wow. to it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so I so I so instead of vials for people, you know, with the, the clearing now I use crystals. I too. love it. I love that. Yes. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. We got two minutes left. We're at the point where I say to my guest, final thoughts, Ellen. What are your final thoughts for today's episode? Anything you want to share? It could be anything. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I like I said, I I uh I have miracles that I see every day in my practice. And I still practice a lot Mm -hmm. Mm because I do love working with people. Right. And I just, I just feel like uh, what's, what's important to, and I know, I think that's why I enjoyed you so much is that people, one of the new books I've been reading is Michael Singer's new book, Living Untethered, which I highly recommend. Okay. And people have so many negative thoughts and, you know, they come in, I'm never going to get well, or why is this happening to me? And how come so-and-so is well? And I eat really well. All those negative thoughts can be cleared. (laughs) And all those negative thoughts should be substituted with something positive and finding some mantra or a clearing or a crystal, whatever, because the more you meditate on that, the more you become that. Well, so, so, and I know that's something talking about consciousness, substitute with something positive. We all have something to be grateful yeah, for. You're right. You're so right. And I have a morning routine where I get up every morning. I meditate. I exercise. I love my Peloton. I do my Peloton. Fantastic. Love and, and then I, and then I go through and I read my goals and I write down what I want for the day. And those things make a difference in people's huge, lives. Huge, Morning huge. routines are important. Mm-hmm. This is what I help people with as well in the ECM work. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, it's about falling into your true self and who you really are and being happy and grateful and conscious. You know, Ellen, as I've said for many, many years, whatever you think about expands, if you think about gratitude, if you think about, I'm so grateful for this. When I had cancer, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with wanting a big yacht, wanting an expensive car, wanting an expensive house. I'm not suggesting in any way there's anything wrong with that inherently. There isn't. But what I thought about over and over again were the relationships I had and how important they were and how much I wanted to continue those relationships. Who would walk my children down the aisle? Who would be there when they had their babies? You know, things like that. So I found ways to be extremely grateful. And what I noticed is it became easier and easier and easier to be grateful. Ellen, we got to yes. wrap up this show. I'm getting the sign that the show is coming to a conclusion. Can you hang on a second as I close it out? And we'll, we'll talk yeah, for just yeah. a second. Hey, folks, thank you for joining me. I'll be back in two weeks. I have the incredible Dr. Amy Dairy. She's a, an integrative dentist, and we're going to talk about some very interesting things. So join me at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in two weeks from now. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Health Matters with Dr. Nelson Bullmash, where we help you discover how to ignite your mind, body, and spirit connection. Join us next time when we will bring you more exciting guests and engaging topics. Meanwhile, feed your mind, exercise your body, and nurture your spirit. 
the United Intentions Foundation and its associates take no responsibility for the opinions and statements made by the talk show hosts 